Okay, here's just uh, what she looks like all installed, bolts down here, and then it bolts into the roof where the grab handle used to be back here. So just six bolts holding that thing in there, two or three on each side. So nice and sturdy. And instead of paying like five, two fifty to five hundred bucks for one, just build your own. I think this thing cost me a total of like twenty bucks. So works really nicely. Looks good back there too. Okay, today in the garage it's fabrication day. We have so this is a barrier for the back of the vehicle behind the second row of seats. I built this hastily before we went to Moab uh, last time because I didn't want all my gear. That's just part of the gear that I keep back there flying through the back and hitting somebody in the head. So um, what I want to do, because this is a pretty, pretty heavy duty down here and it actually mounts up into the roof right there using factory bolting locations. So what I'm going to do is add a couple cross beams in here. So this thicker one's going to go at the bottom and that thinner one will go at the top there. Because I want to be able to mount some gear on here like a fire extinguisher and just other bits and bobs so they're easy to get to. Um, and I want to be able to put my fridge back there as well. So I don't want any of that stuff coming through and killing somebody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, come through here, chop off this excess crap that I don't need here. On each side and then I'm going to go ahead and cut these pieces of tube and then we're just going to weld that on there clean it up real quick and get it all painted up in the paint booth here I'm going to go ahead hurry up and get all this stuff cut up uh, we'll do some time lapse here just chopping and putting this together welding it up real quick and then we can move on um, get a whole new spool 11 pound spool of wire right here and you know, go ahead and weld this thing back up, get it cleaned up with some acetone, and then paint her up. And then I can put that back in. So I'm just using this black uh, tractor equipment industrial enamel. It's a gloss black. I forgot about this stuff. I've used this before a long ago. And so I bought like eight cans of this. I did redid my front bumper with it. in here now on both sides top and bottom and I put just a few more welds on the dog guard or the, the guard uh, so I did this is the cheapest thing I've ever done probably for this thing these actually came with some roof mounts that I used on the roof on the roof rack there so these are a bunch of extra parts so I just those were already paid for they're free this metal I had laying around from doing my expedition trailer build or my off-road trailer build and then this thing this dog bar i think i picked that up for 20 bucks off of facebook marketplace so pretty cheap way to build yourself a dog guard i just put some bolts in down here some bolts in up here when i originally built it bolted that in and i just measured out my pieces of metal got them lined up with the uh the mounts i made and just tack welded them inside the vehicle, took it out, and then fully welded it. So this should be pretty nice and custom. We're going to go ahead and primer and spray that now. back in a couple more touch touch up with some paint 
and then I guess I will stick her back in, but it's a lot better. Looks a little bit nicer. Not that it needed to be a lot stronger, but that should work pretty good. Happy with that. Okay, here's just uh, what she looks like all installed. It bolts down here and then it bolts up into the roof. It bolts into the roof where the grab handle used to be back here. So just six bolts holding that thing in. There are two or three on each side. So nice and sturdy. And instead of paying like five, two fifty to five hundred bucks for one, just build your own. I think this thing cost me a total of like twenty bucks. So works really nicely. Looks good back there too. All right. Hope you like that. Uh, quick little build for the cargo barrier. Maybe you can build yourself something like that too, with some of the ideas I showed you. Anyway. Uh, we'll have more coming out. Please like and subscribe.